Yo, afternoon. Real quick video, I'm gonna try and one take this. Basically, I wanna show you guys something I've done on Instagram. So, if you don't know if you've seen, if you haven't, I'll link them up above or in the description. But a couple of months ago, I did a couple of tutorials on how to get a couple of different looks on Lightroom Mobile. Um, I did a black, black tone tutorial, I did a forest vibe tutorial, a moody, for, bleh, moody forest tutorial, and a vintage look tutorial. Uh, what I've actually done is I've turned them into filters on Instagram so they can be used on the Instagram stories and they're now available on my page so if you want to use them, you can use them. I haven't done the vintage one because I tested it out and I just didn't like the look of it but I've done the black tone and the moody forest one. So if you jump onto, jump on the screen recording now, if you jump onto my Instagram page if you go to this little tab here you've got the two filters. So you've got black tone and forest vibes. Forest vibes one as you can tell from this little preview video really enhances blues and greens and just all natural colors it really enhances them. skin tones doesn't work particularly well on because it makes you go a bit green but that's just in my garden take it to a forest and it'll look pretty damn dope the other one is the black tone one which as you can see pretty much blacks out the entire thing except the skin tones this one's a really cool one i really like this effect this gives um because yeah your skin tones are pretty much normal everything else is blacked out but it's not too intense so that's my favourite out of the two. But yeah, if you want to use them, go to that little tab of my Instagram, click on that, and then down the bottom there, you can see that little icon, tick that, and it will save it to your camera. Then when you go to add to your story, you can use, oh hello, you can use them over here. So yeah, blacked out skin tones, doesn't really work, the forest one, I don't really like it, but yeah, blacked out one I think looks pretty damn cool. So yeah. That is all, that's, that is the entire video today, that's just how you can use it. If you, also, if you're interested in seeing how I turned presets that I've created into filters on Instagram, drop a comment down below and I'll make a little quick tutorial on it because it's a really easy trick to do. Uh, but yeah, that's all. If you like the video, drop a, drop a thumbs up. That does help this video get out to more people that this would be, that would be interested in this sort of thing. So, drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. All the other stuff that YouTube's tell you to do. And I'll see you next video. Peace.